Hello everyone, a very warm welcome to you. My name is Nick, we're back on the Commodore 64, and this is the sequel to Bomb Jack, yes it's called Bomb Jack 2, published by Elite in 1986. Now Bomb Jack was okay on the Commodore 64, although it was a little bit cluttered, there weren't much space to work with, because uh, different to other versions, the characters may be a bit too big for the screen. We'll be doing this on joystick, Bomb Jack 2 works slightly different, instead of jumping and floating, you just jump to each ledge, either vertically or horizontally, so you need to be in line, and you've got a sort of like sword weapon, occasionally, where you can knock uh, villains off the um, ledges. So we'll see how this one plays. Um, on the Spectrum, I preferred the first one to the second one. I presume this might be similar, but graphics are better. So here I am in the middle. We get, must get all these bags. So I'm on that ledge, so down. So you've got it in the avenues. I directly uh, horizontal jumps or um, vertical jumps. And why is it playing Thundercats? Is that Thundercats? That is bizarre. What? What? I, I don't understand that at all. Well, anyway, let's kill him. Oh, he's killed me. Oh, dear. Thundercats are on the loose. What are they doing in Bomb Jack 2? Did it? What? Well, that, that's just crazy talk. Well, anyway, it seems the... Uh, the graphics are making it seem like it's leaning backwards like a pinball table, but I'm sure that's not the case. So this is literally my first go on it. Um, it's all about playing to see would you play it again. Uh, it's unlikely I'm going to get off this stage, is it? That's pretty sad. So this might be a shorter review or gameplay than normal. There's definitely more space to work with than in the first game. But yeah, I, I'm not liking it so far, folks. Oh man, there must be a trick to this. You need to play it a few times before you're going to get any good. Ah, uh, and I'm just playing it for the first time. Did you have this one back in the day? Let me know, either on the Spectrum, Mantra CPC, or whatever. This music's quite good. So the music is good, despite it plays Thundercats for some reason. Lives on the top left. Thundercats are on the move. That is a really odd decision. Why have Elite done that? Did Elite have um, the contract to do a Thundercats game? And they thought, oh, we can't be bothered to do it now, let's just do this. Mind you, I have reviewed Thundercats on the Spectrum and the Com uh, no, the Commodore Amiga. I can't remember who published that now. Might have been Elite. Anyway. Yeah, it makes, n makes no sense why Thundercats is playing. If you know, then let me know. Can we get off stage one? Can we get off stage one? Da da da. Hope you're enjoying the channel at the moment. Hope you're enjoying it. We try and put up as much as possible without me going do lally. We try and mix it up a bit. I want to give you as much as I possibly can. Because you deserve it. Because you're a super person. Right, late stage two. We did get off that. Right. So we have to be in line. Shoot that. Oh. What's going on there? So you need to be in line with um, the next ledge. And then kill whatever's um, there. Before it kills you, of course. We're in space, it seems. Thundercat music still playing. Trying to work out my path here, where best to go. You can only jump to ledges that are in line with you. So if I go up, there's nothing in line with that apart from the ledge I'm already on. And that smaller ledge going down. There's probably something fundamental I'm not doing, being a newbie to the game. Oh, game over. If you know, then let me know. Always love hearing your comments there down in the section. But please don't do a novel or anything. It's very hard to read a novel or stuff, but comments are good generally. But better a novel than nothing at all. Um, okay. Who is this fella? His name is Jack, and he's good at detonating bombs, it seems. I've had enough of this game already, to tell you the truth. I do want to turn it off, but we'll play it a little bit longer. Uh, just for the sake of some sort of game length there. If it was one of your favourites back in the day, then I apologise. You might have whizzed through stage 1 to 12 at lightning speed. But I'm not going to do that. Uh, it's, I'm just glad I got off level 1. Can I knock this thing off? Get off! Alright, that's him taken care of. Now where though? Um, you can only go down. And uh, there's an alien thing. Yeah, I can't Yeah, I can't knock that off the thing. That's a technical term. Yeah, I, sh I definitely need a cheat here. Get off! 
So he's okay because he's on a big ledge, but that smaller thing below, I can't ju jump down and have enough time to recover to actually attack him. Can't get off there, can't drop down, got to be in line. Yeah, I'm... This is not going good. Not going good at all. Um, the best bit about this is maybe to leave it running without playing and just listen to the Thundercats music. Hear the magic, hear the roar. Great cartoon that was Thundercats, but I've never seen a decent game of Thundercats. And the Amiga one was way, way too difficult, and so was the Spectrum. I presume it came out on the Commodore 64 as well. Be interested to see if it's got this music too, or it hasn't got, that'd be quite ironic, it hasn't got the music at all. Maybe it's got the Bomb Jack 2 music, maybe, if such a thing does exist. Take that. So we've got stage one clocked, haven't we? We've got that, we know what to do here. Stage one done. Stage two is my nemesis, but it probably is a lot more straightforward than I'm making it look, to be fair. Good use of colour on the Corridor 64, and a bigger colour palette than the Spectrum, so they could do like shading, graduate it, some more earthy tones. Spectrum sort of like pops out of you, it's uh, quite bright with its set colours. I grew up with the Spectrum, so my preference is always for that, just because of nostalgia. But it is good fun seeing these as well. For years, people kept saying, Nick, do Commodore 64, do Commodore 64, and I said, no, I'm not doing that, because I didn't grow up with them. But I caved in, <laughs> eventually, and I'm glad I did. So well done for persisting. Other systems I review, which I didn't own back in the day, the Sega Mega Drive and Genesis, and the Atari 2600, we do a few of those every now and again. Game over! Yeah, I've enjoyed doing the Sega Mega Drive stuff. I need to step that up a bit. Yes. Well, well, well. I don't know if I can have another go, to be honest with you. Maybe we should, though. We'll have one last go. One last go, and that'll be it. But we do know, we do sense, really, that I'm going to steam through level one. I'm not really going to get off level two. Uh, and then I'm going to give it a mediocre review, which maybe is a little bit unfair. Uh, perhaps I had to put in the time on this one, or play it with a friend that was good at it. But I can see, once you get the hang of it, it might get quite addictive. The levels look um, sufficiently different from each other, what some games do. The first five levels will be roughly the same, but the graphics are totally different from one to two. And I presume they'll be different from three to four. So I think there's a good game underneath it. Another one of those ones that, uh, although I'm rubbish at it, 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 it might be worth persevering with. Quite often in these games you get stuck for a while, but you just get one tip, or a couple of tips, or see someone else have a go at it, and then uh, and you're off and running. Would I play this again as a kid? Well, only, as I say, if someone had given me a couple of tips there. Otherwise, I would have got frustrated I wasn't getting off level 2, and I probably wouldn't have loaded it again. Um, I think my... Yeah, although it's better use of the space, I think my slight preference is for Bomb Jet 1, despite looking at this now, you can tell that was hideously claustrophobic. Best bit, as I say, is the music, really. I keep expecting Lino to turn up from the cartoon, or Mumra. Uh, he was the villain of the piece. Um, I don't know what his beef was, but he never got on with anyone, couldn't play in groups or anything like that. No. So this is a little bit of a shorter review. I don't want really to want to go in again because we'll just be repeating the gameplay. So I hope you liked having a look at that, at least seeing how it played, what the graphics and the sound were like, and listening to Thundercats. So that was Bomb Jack 2 on the Commodore 64, published by Elite in 1986. Thank you for watching that one. Have you got any comments about this game, similar games, or anything retro or Commodore 64, then please put your thoughts below. You're always more than welcome. Big thanks to everyone that's subscribed so far. If you want to help a bit more, it's patreon.com slash njenkin. Until next time, take great care of yourself and a very fond goodbye. Goodbye.